ugly girl. Okay, so when you when you have a dog and and it's always good. Well, I always recommend that when you have a dog and and uh, he's eating that you pet you pet the dog, okay? When you have especially these types of these types of dogs that are that are guard dogs, right? That are working working bloodline, working breed. Um, you need to be able to be close to them to their dish, and them and them not be a threat. Now, now, yes, I I said that, but what I also want to emphasize that it's not good for you to start taking taking from there. Okay, so. You have to have your dog, uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's okay to take from there, but sometimes it's not okay to take from there. And so it's better, I recommend, that you just don't take from the dish. What you want to do instead of taking from the dish is you want to add to the dish. You want to add to the dish. And you want to pet the dog so that the dog understands that you're you're not here to take. You're not here to take. You're here to give. Now, if the if if the there's if the dog is 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 um uh, is a little crazy and and it's a and, and it's a and it's a I can't say that it's a little crazy. If your if your if your dog is 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 one of those that are just extremely dominant, you know, because there's. There's some cases where 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 the dog where the dog becomes dominant, uh, becomes it it becomes to the point where it wants to be extra dominant. So I don't recommend that you just start touching the dog the dog's food and taking it away. You know, if if unless you want to unless you want to create something. Because what will end up happening is you have to be ready. You have to be ready for for the dog to challenge you, and and so if you take it away, I have to be ready for the dog to challenge me, because I have to show the dog that I I am in control and that I'm basically alpha. That I am I'm that he's my little he's my little he's my little bitch, you know. So I have to show him that he's second to the plate. But you have to be ready to have a confrontation. Now, I suggest you don't have a conversation, not to have a conversation, a confrontation, and, and I suggest that you add, instead, you add to the plate so that he knows that hands are adding and it's good petting. And so that the dog, as the dog grows up, the dog allows you, allows you to pet him, to pet her. So while, while he or she is eating, you know what I mean? Because there are some dogs that you cannot do this. You cannot do this. Like I, I've seen really, really bad cases where you can't even do this with some dogs. And it's because their owner didn't spend the time to do what I'm doing right here. I mean, it doesn't take that long. Okay. And so I, so, so I suggest that you put into the plate and that you pet the dog and that you put into the plate. You can, you can, you can put food into the plate. Pet the dog. Let the dog understand that your hands mean mean that it's a good positive thing. Uh, uh, unless you want to have a confrontation with your dog. Now, if you're ready to have a confrontation with your dog, like I'm, I'm always ready to have confrontations with dogs. Uh, you know, so that I teach them who's the boss. But if you're not ready to have a confrontation with with the dog, especially if you don't have a leash on the dog, I suggest that you add add to the to the bowl and that you pet and, and so that you get your dog used to you being around the bowl without there being some type of issue because sometimes you might get too close to the bowl by accident but you don't want to get you don't want to get um bitten right so unless you're ready to have a, conf a confrontation then do it like i'll have a confrontation with these dogs you know and and and, and I'm, I'll show them who's number one, but that that does that doesn't mean that doesn't mean everybody's ready to have a confrontation with the dog. And you got to be able to read your dog. You got to be able to read your dog and, and 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 have a leash on your dog if you're gonna have a confrontation with your dog. So I suggest you just add food 
add food to it and you let them know that hey hands are good hands mean food hands mean food all right hands mean food hands mean food hands mean positive and everything everything turns out to be wonderful as the dog gets mature so it, so you don't have an accident where you get too close to the bowl and next thing you know the, the dog is biting you it's just a, they're, they're dangerous animals some of these dogs are cute but they're dangerous animals if you don't know how to read your dog you can you can make a mistake that you will soon regret so i suggest you add to the bowl and you pet the dog and that you avoid taking away from the bowl unless you're ready to have a confrontation. All right. Have a good day.